Hello guys. This is another episode of Networking in the Cloud and I will be showing you something very interesting today. I know a lot of people have been using client VPN recently and it has been it has been growing tremendously actually. I, I will just be talking about how to authenticate AWS client VPN user with SAML, which is SAML, uh, Security Association Markup Language. I know this this was just introduced with it just re introduced uh, recently uh, i think uh, the may last month that was may 19th uh, uh with aws client vpn so a lot of people might still be finding an issue on how to do this so i'm just going to uh, do i'm going to do a video i'm going to be talking about how this all works together and i'm going to be showing you i hope you enjoy it so if you look at my screen now, I, I don't have any, uh, actually have a client VPN. I just decided to, to hide those because I, I want to start creating another one from the scratch. But before then, uh, we need to set up, uh, we need to set up the, the, the summer, which is the identity provider. We need to set up the client VPN and we will see how this works from the user's perspective. So first thing is to, and a very popular identity provider that is being used with it, as I'm going to use in my case, is Okta. I know, I don't know if a lot of you, uh, I know a lot of people are familiar with Okta. And so I'm just going to, so I already registered the Okta, it's just a 30 days trial just to test it out. And uh, I know a lot of people are familiar with our, our summer work, but it's just integrating with AWS that they might actually be trying to figure figure out how to to do that. So, doing this real quickly, if you after you in your Okta console page, you probably you go to the application layer, application. <laughs> sorry, I said application. You know, I'm just so used to the to the TCP IP or to the OSI layer model, but I'm referring to Okta here. Go to the application tab. Then from the application tab, you search out. Now, see, I've already set up this, so maybe, okay. Just activate it. So if we look at what I have here, this is the application tab for the Okta console. So you see the application uh, tab. The next thing you need to do is to click on add application. So if you click on add application, it will take you to the next page, which you see a lot of applications here. All you just need to do is to, is to type the uh, AWS clients, and this will bring you AWS clients here, a client VPN. You click on this and you click on add. So after adding this, you see something like this, AWS, uh, AWS client VPN, that's the application label. Uh, well, it depends on what you want to do. So I'll just go ahead and click done here. So after this is done, you see you have uh, uh, the AWS client VPN here. You go on next to sign on. So this is where you actually set the whole thing up for the sign on. So you see the, the next thing that we have here is the member of. So you want to click on the edit first so that we can have the option to, to edit what we have here. So what you need to do is to click this member of the match regex. I just put the dots and for everything. See, so this is what uh, you can decide to choose whatever you want. And after that, the port that is needed is the port 35001. And this is the port that the client VPN software on AWS is expecting to receive authentication response on. So it has to be this. And then uh, I leave the rest as so save and I save it. Once this is saved, once this is saved, then we can go ahead and uh, you need to download this, the Ident Identity Provider Manager. Uh, sorry, I mean Identity Provider Metadata, not Manager. Where did I see Met Manager? Okay, anyway, so 
identity provider metadata, you can download this to your uh, 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 PC using the save link as. Once you have this, let's go ahead and and configure the identity identity provider on the AWS console because that is the next thing that, that we need to do is to go to the, your IAM role. So you can see that I already have one here, but I can just go ahead and delete it just to show you guys uh, delete provider. Delete provider, so I can just create a new one, choose provider, I want to use SAML. And this can be Okta uh, uh, client. It can be any name that you that you want it to be, client VPN. And you then try, you then upload this, and you do next step. Then you can see what you have here. Then you create it. So after this has been created for you, after this has been created for you, you have something like this. Then all you need to do, you just have to ensure that you. Uh, copy the ARN of this particular one, which is up here. ARN, I'll just copy this because we are going to need this later on. So that is all. So what I need to do now is to go to creating my client VPN. So if I up back to this point, I create the, the client VPN. So creating the client VPN, I can give it uh, a name. Come on. So description, you give it a description, then you choose the the uh, IP that you want the uh, users to actually connect to, and this can be can be twenty. Yeah, it can just be slash twenty two. Then I already have this set up before, so this is this is uh, if you. I don't want to go into creating a server certificate and, and the rest because this is not the purpose of the video is actually to show you the authentication with uh, SAML. So, uh, so I'm going to choose a user-based authentication. So we have the Active Directory authentication. I'm going to use that. This is what we want to use. And because you've created, as you can see, my region is in Ireland, but the IAM role is global. So it doesn't matter. I'll definitely see what I've created here, which is here. So I can click that. If you want uh, client connections to log, you can choose that and choose your your client VPN, your whatever group name that you have. I already have a group name here. But if you don't want it, it doesn't matter. Then you choose the VPC that you want to connect to, and you have and you choose your your security group that you want to have it, to want to attach to that VPC for security purposes. If it's default, you let it be the default. If you want any other thing, then you can go ahead and create your client VPN. So after that is done. Then we can come back here and uh, we can see that we can have our client VPN here. We can see it's pending associate. So we need to have some association here, not some, a, a, an association because I'm just going to associate to one VPC. So I choose uh, this, I choose this uh, subnet. So in my case, this is a subnet. So we wait for this, this is a security group, and we have, uh, yes, we have a, a routable for these because these are the, as the, 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 the subnet. These are the, the route that I actually have in the subnet. That doesn't matter. Anyway, what we are particular about is the authorization aspect of it. So what authorization are we going to give? You can decide to what network, um, trying to give it, I'm going to give it, an, I'm going to give you client, the users that connect to the client VPN access to this network, which is my VPC. In this situation, to set up, to set up a summer group specific authorization, then you choose to go to allow access to users in a specific group. Then you give it a name in my own, I can say the IT, I can say IT, I can say, or I can say the network, 
network team. I can say give, uh, I can say, I can just choose, it's just, it's just, it's just an any, any name actually. Access from, from network group to EC2 or to EC2 instance or to VPC network. Ah, come on. You can say access from network group to VPC network. We can create the, the action. So you see, so we have something like this here. This is set. We just confirm what we have here. So this has been set and we know that is good to go. So what we need to do is to do, let me see what is here. Okay. So what we need to do is to do an assignment. Of course, we can look at this, the directory. We can try to, this is uh, everyone. So we can also create a group. Create a group. So we give it a group. This is the networking group access to, so you can create a group. So I also had, I had it myself. You can manage people. So I've added myself to that. Why it is still going, you can also download this. You download this client endpoint, uh, uh, client configuration. You can download that because that you're going to use when you are trying to import the profile. So this is the profile that you need to download. You can see this is now available. So let's connect and let's try to see what how we are doing so far. So. This is my AWS client and I will need to manage it and put in manage the profile and set the profile. I can delete this and just bring in the new profile. Can give it a name. It's a remote. Add to the profile, Octa remote, done. Then let me try to connect. So it's trying to, it's attempting to, to connect. Sorry about that. Establishing waiting for identity. Now it prompted me to this. You see, this is the error you will get. Sorry, you can't access AWS client VPN because you're not assigned this app in Okta. So how do you fix this? You go here and you, under the application, So you go here under the application, you can see you click on the AWS client VPN and uh, you see assignment. Assignment, you need to assign these to people or to group. To group, I'll say because I have the network group here, so I can then assign, I can then assign these to the network group. Then you click done when that is done. Then you can then uh, disconnect, cancel this and try to reconnect again. So when you reconnect this, let's see what we have this time. Waiting for, waiting for identity. So it's actually open to another window, but I'm, I, I'm going to show you here. So this is the message. Authentication details received. Processing details, you may close these windows. And there after you see connected, and that is how you do it. So we can close this window now. Now we see that our authentication with Simon is working well. Then the next thing is if you want to try, you can uh, you can test your connectivity, which will definitely work. Many people don't have a, don't have issue testing the connectivity. And one thing one thing I have, I have to warn you about is when you're setting this up. Let me just quickly do a modification make sure that you enable split tunneling. Ensure you have split, uh, split tunneling on because uh, let me explain what that does. If you don't do that, it's going to, it might disrupt your connectivity because then it's going to send all your traffic, including your internet traffic to through the VPN tunnel. 
they, and that's that might break your internet connection if you don't give internet connectivity if you don't allow internet uh, connectivity via the vpn if you're only concerned about accessing your vpc cider and you're not concerned about the internet then by the time you create the vpn and you connect to it you lose internet connectivity on your pc so if you know this you want your internet connectivity to go to your local isp and but then you want your you want your accessing your vpc to go through the vpn tunnel then that exactly is what you're going to do you're just going to you're just going okay i'm just looking at this now okay it's a little bit distracting so that's exactly what you're going to do if you want your internet connection to actually go through uh, go to your local isp and you want your accessing the vpc go through the vpn you just enable split tunneling and that's what it is it's uh so that's that makes life easy so i just show you that so that and this is connected and this is connected already i hope you enjoyed this but there's no point in trying to connect uh access the vpc i'm just trying to show you this but it should work if that doesn't work then you need to ensure that you have the the proper connectivity the proper route this will be created automatically after the association i believe to the subnet and the authorization you already allow access from this group of network to connect and as we can see from this as you can see the the group of the network is this so i am assigned in this network if i click this network you see the member that is there and that is what we want to have so i hope you enjoyed this video uh you if you want more of this please uh subscribe and click on the notification button so you get a new videos as they come out and uh, you can always drop me a comment uh about the video you would like to see next thank you Thank <laughs> you.